Weapons are amazing in Cyberpunk 2077, but want to find out how to make them even more amazing? Well, today we're going to be talking about weapon attachments and tech ammo. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about it. Esava, this is Laserbolt, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about something you really want to know, and that is what type of attachments you'll be able to put on your weapons. In addition to that, we're also going to be talking about special ammo that you're able to add into your specific weapon to make the weapon even more powerful. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out my weapon video, I highly recommend you guys check that out. It gives you an in-depth overview of every single weapon that's going to be found in the game, so highly recommend you guys check that out. Link is down below in the description. But I would also like to remind you guys about our super duper giveaway that we're doing for Cyberpunk 2077. To enter super easy, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave a comment in the comment section down below, follow us on Twitch and Twitter, and all you gotta do guys is make sure you guys drop a comment. That's it. That's all you gotta do to enter. But most importantly guys, if you're new and you subscribe, make sure you turn on their notifications because you want to get notified when new Cyberpunk 2077 videos go out because the more you comment on all these videos, the more entries you will have to win the game. So there you guys have it. That's how you guys are able to enter and participate. So good luck to everybody who plans to participate. In addition to that, guys, if you want to watch awesome gameplay, overall really positive vibes, make sure you guys head on over to our Twitch Link is down below. We stream every day and we will be streaming Cyberpunk 27 early. So you want to get early access to that. Make sure you guys hit us with that follow. I will see you guys over there. So in Cyberpunk 2077, guys, there are extensive amounts of weapons you could use. You could use SMGs, pistols, sniper rifles, you know, assault rifles. You have a wide variety of weapons, but these weapons are actually even more powerful when you're able to add attachments and ammunition to it. Today we're gonna to be talking about the attachments and the ammunition you're gonna be able to put to these weapons because once you pick up a weapon, you could change it and modify it and personalize it to fit your desired playstyle. So if you wanna play a little bit stealthy, if you wanna play a little bit, you know, just full on guns and blazing, then you're gonna to have to decide which attachments and which type of ammunition you wanna go with. Also, there's gonna be certain times when enemies are gonna be coming at you and these enemies will have different weapons. Some of them might have blades, some of them might have cyberware, some of them might just have regular standard weapons. And each of the ty types of you know enemies that you'll encounter will require a certain type of not only ammo, but attachments that are going to make you even a more deadly killing machine. Now for those of you trying to figure out how attachments will work in Cyberpunk 2077, Attachments are very similar to any other other game that we had. There's going to be a ton of variety of optics. So you have your you know full zoom, you have your mid zooms, and you have your you know your red little dot. You're also going to be able to switch in iron sights, which is actually pretty cool because sometimes you like to write, you know run a weapon without a scope or an optic, and you just want to have that you know iron sight. You're able to swap iron sights, which makes it really good, and it might make some weapons viable at close range and mid range. You're also able to put suppressors, so if you like to play a little bit stealthy, or you want to play a little bit more you know passive and not be drawing too much attention, all you got to do is put a suppressor on that gun. And you guys should be good to go. Now, one thing I do like the fact that they are focusing in is that if you guys remember prior to the game when it was released, when the first, I think it was in 2019 or 18, when they did the whole hour preview event, uh, we did notice that the weapons had an extensive amount of recoil. And the reason why this weapons had so much recoil is because there were certain attachments missing to those particular weapons. They went ahead and nerfed down the recoil, so it's less recoil now, even without attachments. But we're also getting the addition now to, as part of attachments, to add grips, which is really cool. So we have a Commander 4 grip, Merc 4 grip, if you guys are playing Call of Duty, you guys know what I'm talking about. You're going to be able to add these type of grips to each individual weapon, allowing you to control that recoil if you have vertical recoil. Or you have you know ver uh, you know horizontal recoil or vertical, you're going to be able to control this with grips that you're able to attach to these weapons to avoid the sway of the particular weapon. Now, if you want to play like Rambo and go guns in blazing, then guys, you're definitely going to want to attach a grenade launcher to your weapon. Yes, guys, we're able to attach grenade launchers to our weapon. As far as weapons that are going to be able to get equipped with this, from what we know is you are able to equip this on an assault rifle and you're also able to equip it on SMG. Now, I don't know if there's going to be other weapons or if you could you know, equip it across the board on every single weapon. But from what we've seen so far, we know assault rifles and SMGs will be allowed to put in a grenade launcher, making the game even more dynamic. And like I said, if you want to go in guns basically, you want to start making some noise, not only are you going to be able to carry grenades, 
but you'll also be able to carry a grenade launcher to clear your path of the enemies and wipe the ground clean. Now, remember, Cyberpunk isn't like every other game where the grenade launcher will only harvest certain grenades. There are other grenades you're going to be able to apply in there, and that's where we're going to be talking about the tech ammo. So what exactly is tech ammo? Well, tech ammo is ammunition you're going to be able to pick, and this is going to change the way the weapon operates. So example, let's say you guys love running an SMG or you like running an assault rifle, and you are trying to infiltrate an area that has an extensive amount of cameras. Let's say you're not going for the hacker tree, and you want to have, you know, a weapon that's going to help you avoid getting detected of too much electronics on in a room. Well, you're going to be having ammunition that's going to allow you to kind of negate any electronical device. Not only is it going to be beneficial for electronic devices, but it's also going to be beneficial for any other enemy that wants to attack you that has a lot of cyberware implanted into their body. Remember, the more cyberware the person has, the more likelihood that that person it's all wired up to be more of a cyber instead of a human. So the more cyber they are, the more likelihood you're going to be able to take them out with specific ammunition. And the ammunition we're talking about is the EMP ammunition. Let's put this case scenario. Let's say you're walking down the streets, right? You're minding your own business. And all of a sudden, guys, you see that there's a guy that comes around the corner and he is a cyber freak, guys. He is just walking around your neighborhood with mantis blades ready to come and attack you and steal your money and steal your loot. What do you do? Uh, do you go ahead and just kind of pull out your SMG and shoot him? No, you pull out your SMG, put a little bit of MP rounds on that. And before he even gets close to you, shoot the EMP rounds and that guy will automatically bing bada bing fall down to his knees without being able to use his blades at all. Now if that one doesn't sound cool enough guys, there are also other type of ammo. If you guys have seen a few of the gameplay of the, you know, the gameplay that we got for like about, a, I would say like about three weeks ago or about a month ago. That gameplay showcased us in a car chase, right? Within this car chase, we were using a hand cannon. And in that hand cannon that we were using, we were firing incinerary rounds. Incinerary rounds are actually really predominant and really popular in the game as they will provide you a very good way to actually dealing with enemies and also dealing with vehicles because you'll be able to set not only the vehicles on fire, but you'll be able to set the enemies on fire. Another thing that this helps a lot is if people are behind cover, you could actually shoot these rounds to kind of make them come out of cover. But if that's not fun enough for you guys, there is also ballistic acid. Yes, guys, you heard it correctly. Ballistic acid. Now, ballistic acid is going to allow you to go melt your enemies really cool with acid and just cause them to kind of melt or disintegrate in front of your very own eyes. Yes, guys, these are really deadly. Very well put on a sniper rifle. But if that wasn't enough to get you excited, there is also another type of ammunition that actually tracks the enemy. So let's say you're fighting someone and they're moving super duper fast around the map and you just can't shoot them. Or you're in a car chase and the car's really far ahead of you. Then you, what you want to put in, you put to put the gyro jets. And these are going to allow to track the enemy and home on that enemy and shoot them on sight. Really good. These are mostly used on smart weapons. If you want to know how many smart weapons are in the game, check out my weapon guide video where I talk about the smart weapons as well. And there you guys have it. That is pretty much the ammunitions and the attachments you're going to be able to put on the weapons in Cyberpunk 2077. Remember guys, if you want to stay up to date to everything Cyberpunk, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. But most importantly, make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you won't miss when these videos go live and you can enter to win yourself a game. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitch. We stream every day. I'll see you guys every day and catch you guys on the next video.